Hello everyone, hello. My name is Shamika Tonkins and I'm an independent consultant of Paparazzi Accessories. My consultant ID is 91773. Okay, my website is www.lovedupjewels.net. Feel free to go on there and shop. Feel free to go on there and I'll sign up. Do what you want to do. I'm fine with it. <laughs> So moving right along, today I want to talk about the topic of budgeting. And I know typically when we talk about budgeting, we're talking about financial budgeting. Not today. Um, I want to give you a little brief background about me. I joined Paparazzi in 2017 and I was gung ho. I was like on fire, like Paparazzi is it. And I love Paparazzi. I enjoy Paparazzi. Um, even when I was in the hospital having my son, who was 21 months old, I was posting pictures and selling my jewelry. I was working my business. Yes, that's what we do. We don't make no excuses. We work our business. And those who are already in the business, we know that phrase very well, no excuses. So I was getting it done. Well, as things progress, life moves on. I currently have my 16-year-old daughter and I have a 21-month-old son. So as life moves on and life factors happen and things happen in life, and I just got a bit distracted. I got distracted. I got overwhelmed with different things that was going on because I'm a mom of two. Um, I'm still adjusting to my son. He just started daycare. Um, so I'm adjusting to his schedule is what I meant. And really, he don't have a schedule. Truth be told, he don't have a schedule. He worked the night shift. He is up at different hours. Um, and I have to be up with him, of course, because my mom on duty. So just having a lot of things, a lot of outside factors that were playing a role, a lot of internal factors that were playing a role, like depression and things like that, I had to make a decision. I said, my job is overwhelming because we're going through this change in my job where we got bought by another company, um, and that happens. And so we're having this big transition at work. A lot was going on within my personal life, adjusting to my son's schedule, making sure everything was good with my daughter, who was a teenager, and we know how that goes. Um, I said, something got to give. So I made a decision to put paparazzi on the back burner. So I still sell my jewelry. I'm still active every month. And I made sure that I just sell my jewelry kind of passively, like through my bling bag. But I'll just confess with y'all and be honest. Some days I don't even have my bling bag together. Money missed right there. That's an opportunity missed to make a sale. Some days I don't even have my business cards. I don't even know if I got business cards in the car. Which I always have my business cards in the car. And in my wallet, just in case. You know, somebody started talking about an opportunity to rise. I can pull out a card. There has been days I had left out of the house. I didn't have my jewelry on. It happens. It happens. I'm just telling y'all the truth and being transparent. And so I put paparazzi on the back burner. But I'm going to tell y'all what happened. All right? So I still was connecting with my team, different ones in the team, especially those that I, you know, speak with on a regular basis because we've become friends anyway. But this is what happened. On this very morning, this morning, I was checking my bank account like I do every day. I check my account, especially now because I'm waiting on a deposit to come. And I was checking to see what debits have actually come out. So I update my spreadsheet accordingly. And on this very moment, it just dawned on me. It came to me. Mika, as diligent as you are about your finances, be as diligent with your time so that you can work your business. Because I haven't told everybody, but I don't mind to share this. My major goal for, for myself right now is to pay off my house. And my go-to phrase when I need to get something done is come hella high water. So come hella high water, I am paying off this house. So even though I've had different things to come up financially that can be seen as a setback, I made sure I put additional money towards the principal of balance of my house because that is my goal. That is my priority. I'm on a financial diet. I'm on a budget. And I hold myself accountable to that budget. Okay? So if I can be as diligent with my finances, that no matter what, come hell or high water, I'm putting extra money towards the principal of balance of my house. Why can't I also be just as diligent with my business and say, come hell or high water, I'm going to work this business and this thing is going to do what it do by the grace of God. That just came to me today. And so I said the same way I'm on a financial budget, I need to be on a time budget. So I know it's 24 hours in the day. So my goal for myself is between today and tomorrow, come up with a concrete 
well, it's gonna have a little bit of fluidity in it because I'm, I'm gonna have to um, adjust it according to my son, of course, uh, and my daughter. So it's gonna be, but she's pretty self, you know, teenagers, they kind of do their own thing. Um, but I'm gonna have to come up with a regimen for myself, for my time and my day. And the way this is gonna work, the only way it's gonna work is I'm gonna have to relinquish some control. And when I say that, I mean relinquish control in terms of how things are done in this house. So ordinarily, when I get off from work, I come home and start working. I'm doing this, I'm doing that, I'm cleaning, I'm this, I'm that, I'm blah, 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 and I'm setting up for the next day. I'm going to have to delegate some tasks in this house. Okay? So things may get done not the way that I typically would do them because someone else is going to be doing Yeah, my daughter going to be put to work. I'm going to put her to work. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. She can do it. She ain't doing it now. She can do it. So I'm going to have to delegate some responsibilities. Everybody in this house is going to have to pitch in and do their part so that mama can continue to do what needs to be done and to grow in my business. Because what I do in my business is not just a benefit for me. It's a benefit for everybody in this household. It's a benefit for generations to come. It's a benefit for the generation that is here, my daughter, my son, and it's a benefit for the generation to come. That is my overall goal for my business, is that it not just help me, but I'm able to provide more for my children and for their children, to, to provide for my lineage. So just wanted to encourage somebody, if you are having a difficult time with working your business into your um, life, because life happens, and maybe you have to take a soft pause. I've even done that. If you have to take a pause, pause, but I'm going to encourage you to get back in it. Set yourself a time budget, a time management budget, and that way figure out, okay, budget this number of hours, minutes, seconds, what have you for um, TV, for your family, for your business, for your job. And just like with my finances, I had to cut out some things in order to make my finances work the way that I need them to work. I know right now I'm going to have to cut out some things in order to make my time budget work. But believe me when I tell you, come hella high water, it's going to work. Be encouraged, great people. Be blessed.